Hi everybody! Do you remember this pencil house desk organizer that I did a few videos ago? Uh, you know, the one that uh, you can open up and then uh, there's all kinds of ways inside you can organize your pencils and stuff. Well, here's how to decorate it! Woohoo! What do you think of this one? Same thing, you open it up here. Ooh, look at that. Now, isn't this beautiful? All your precious stuff can go in here. There's so much space. Oh, all your colored pencils, your markers, brushes, paper clips, erasers, knickknacks, and all kinds of other knickknacks. White out, you have pencil sharpener and not to forget, you know what this is, right? Your secret diary here, your secret diary. You just grab the nose of this uh, cat here and pull it right out. Nobody will ever know that it's behind here. Okay, now let me clear this to the side and let's uh, get started. I'm gonna show you how to decorate it. Let's start with the outside of the house or the facade of the house, if you wish. Okay, uh, I have selected four gorgeous colors to match uh, this brown cardboard. It is a black, white, uh, a warm yellow or a sort of yellowy orange, and a turquoise. It's different from the house that I showed you just now because I want to show you like how to do different color varieties for this gorgeous uh, house. So we start with the main color which is turquoise and paint one side of the house. So uh, using a medium sized brush here. Notice that I'm painting all the way up to the corrugated cardboard but not on it. So I'm not trying to cover up the cardboard look. I'm uh, letting that stay there. So that's the kind of the look of this, uh, this house is that we're painting the smooth surfaces, but not the corrugated surfaces. So like the windows here, I go you know, down to the windows, uh, to the edge of the window, but I don't go into the corrugated cardboard in, uh, in there. So uh, I just fill up this whole space. Bear with me for a few moments and we shall have this covered up. Now also notice that I go down to the middle or over to the middle, but I don't cross that, that line. I, uh, I stop right here. There. Finished exactly half. Now I turn it sideways and start with the stripes. So I like the turquoise to continue across here in three stripes. One, two, and three. So I start with the top one. It goes, well, from this side across and then meeting the, the roof exactly here. And I go down and just so that I can cover the filler mass that I uh, put in here to smoothen the, uh, the edge there. So I go down to about here. Then I continue on the other side of the, uh, the door opening. Then I go down to the bottom and I do a similar stripe here, right across. And then a stripe in the middle. Nice. Then I turn it to the other side and do the same thing like this. Now this needs to dry and while it dries, I can do the rooftop. And for that, I'll use black and a quite a big brush because not much details here on the rooftop. I can just go plain sailing all the way down, except for, of course, on this side, I have um, the uh, chimney and uh, I will go around the chimney, into the chimney like this, and then into the chimney on that side, and on this side, and on this side. Really careful so I don't get any uh, paint on the chimney there. So there, and then I open the wall a little bit, and then I uh, do this part of the rooftop as well. But I don't uh, get around the corner onto that side or that side, so only the top bit. Oh, nice and dry. Then we continue with the chimney. So I switch to a smaller brush so that I can paint this uh, rather smaller uh, surface up here. And I gotta go close to the black, but that's okay. 
you know, as long as it's um, dry, then I can go really close. Oh, better be careful. Then I stop around this level, because on top I want to have a different color. Okay, finished. Then while this is drying, I'll do the back. And the back side is completely turquoise. Nice and simple. Now I have painted it once, dried it once and painted it uh, twice. Because, you see, black you can paint once and it, co and it covers really well. But the brighter colors usually need two layers to be really bright and uh, solid and cover well. So all this is now uh, painted twice. So let's get going on the windows. The windows or the window frames can have different colors, but uh, I like to carry this color onto this side as well. So I choose this window and then you can make your window frame as thick as you like. It will look good uh, with the bright turquoise against the rather dull sort of brown. And this I need to do twice as well. Okay, let's move on to some other colors. Yellowy orange, nice bright yellowy orange. That is a beautiful combination with the cardboard brown as well as the bright turquoise. So I choose a couple of windows for this color and a couple of windows over here as well. There. Now, while waiting for this to dry, I'll bring out the white. Really beautiful against all the, the other colors. Just see what happens now. Look at that white, how it stands out really bright and bright contrast to the other colors. It's really beautiful. So white is indeed a color by itself. You know, it's not just like a white paper. It is a color when you put it against the other colors. And how about some white on this strange little window down there? And while waiting for this to dry, let me uh, turn the building and do the stripes on the side. So I'm going to do a stripe right onto the um, turquoise here, along the turquoise side. So I'm not going in on the cardboard stripe. I'm doing a, a white stripe on top of the, the turquoise one. There. Then I turn the house and repeat the same thing on this side. Now I have finished everything twice. Uh, the stripes, uh, the window frames. I've even done the uh, top of the chimney. And uh, now I'm ready for the decoration around the windows. And I'm gonna use uh, spots, uh, basically. So I'm uh, using a rather a pointy brush, small brush. I fill it up with quite a lot of um, uh, paint so that when I make a dot, like let's say this one, like this, then it gives off a lot of paint right away, like this. Especially when I make a small dot, it's just particularly efficient. Look at this, dot, dot, and dot. And look, isn't this nice? Dots above the window. Basically, dots are beautiful in the right context. So I'm going to continue with that a little bit. Down here, for instance, I can do many small dots. Now, doesn't that look nice? It's just something about those dots, isn't it? That just make things look sparkling and, and uh, charming. Okay, so uh, I'm going to switch to a different color and then see what happens. Starting with a big dot in the middle and then dotting a bit around. How about that? Or maybe one up here too. There's one dot perhaps. I mean, you can put them anywhere you like as long as they look nice. Up here, I want to put the heart. Oh, nice. Ooh, I love those hearts. Okay, let's continue a bit like that. That's a nice variety. Let me change color again. Now all the decorations uh, on the front is done. Let's have a look at the inside. I gotta take out all this uh, stuff first. Now I think that the front, the main color, the turquoise, will look really good on the big wall inside as well. So let's start with uh, covering that wall. 
So now be careful when you go towards the end of the wall because we want to keep quite a bit of this interior cardboard colored. So when we go in here, don't get paint on the other wall. Okay, that wall is done. Now let's do the next. And that's gonna be a white for nice uh, contrast. So I, uh, that's the wrong brush. I this is the brush that I wanted to have. Okay, so painting it as usual, same thing. Go along the wall and then uh, I will uh, dry this layer once because usually to get a wall all white, you need to paint it twice. There, painted it twice. Next is the secret door and I would like to make it orange. It's very simple, we just cover the whole thing first and then we paint the face on later. So the whole thing orange, but only on the, on the front. I, 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 don't, I won't do the sides or the back, so we just do the front because that's what is visible from the outside of the house. Okay, finished and now I painted it twice and while it dries, let's do the windows. I start with uh, turquoise and uh, doesn't matter which window I select, I can just um, spread the three colors that I have, turquoise, white and orange on the window frames on whatever window I choose. Here of course I need to paint everything twice. And now this needs to dry and then I paint the whole thing one more time. And how about some decorative dots here as well, just like on the outside. There. Now, let's put this aside to dry and then uh, we'll start on the uh, shelves inside, uh, like this uh, pencil organizer. Okay, uh, how about hearts? Would you like hearts? Oh, I love hearts. Okay, let's do hearts. I start with white hearts. I make some bigger and some smaller. Then later I can fill in with the orange hearts. Okay, now for the orange hearts. Now this one is done and we can start on the uh, toilet roll pencil holders. For that I shall use a slightly bigger brush. How about this one? Yes. And um, some orange. Now this first layer needs to dry. In the meantime, I'll do the uh, second largest one. This one, I won't do stripes. I will do just the uh, whole thing turquoise. That is to give the um, pencil boxes a bit of variety. Some stripey, some completely covered. Now this one needs to dry and then of course I'll paint it twice. In the meantime, I'll do this one, yes. And I will do the whole thing black, including the inside. Because I want to have thumbtacks in it and I want and the thumbtacks are white so I want them to stand out. Therefore I will paint the inside as well. Now here's a tip. If you want to avoid putting paint all over your hands, uh, paint half and then let it dry and then you paint uh, the rest. So don't try to paint everything right away. Okay then there is this one. I will uh, use white and I will also do stripes this way, vertically. I'll leave them to dry and then I'll finish them all up with two layers. See you in a bit. Almost done. The last thing now is to put decorative dots on the black um, uh, holder. So I use the turquoise and I just go dot, dot, dot. Uh, almost as if this is a dark sky with stars. Done. Now I move over to the uh, secret uh, wall. I'm gonna paint the nose black there. Um, then I do the eyes. And then the mouth. First one do line down the middle of the mouth. And I open it up into a big smile. And have about a couple of teeth. Now before I finish this, the eyes needs to dry and then I'll get back to it. So I put it over here. In the meantime, let's decorate the top drawer. For this one, I'm just gonna use dots. Sometimes it's really good just to repeat the pattern you have. For this pencil house, I'm using dots primarily and then 
of course the hearts. So I start with a big dot in the middle and then I do two smaller ones on the side, two even smaller ones on the side of those again. And yes, you guessed right, two tiny ones at the end. There. Then let's go back and finish this face. Um, eyes, let's make them a bit funny, a bit cross-eyed. To bring out the teeth, I use a tiny little brush and then fill in uh, white in the teeth. Look at that, look at how the teeth sort of pops out when I get the white inside. And while I have the white brush, whiskers. How about eyebrows? There, now let's put it all together. Remember this one? Whoa. Now I can put this back inside here and this box goes in here and the pencil organizer let's see what I have uh, yeah uh, I got some pencils here right. let's put that inside and then these ones markers more markers some more things the thumbtacks you see now because it's black inside the white will uh, stand out properly and let's put it inside the drawer on top like this the marker collection over here oh beautiful and then of course our memo uh, pads some glue just a little bit on the back uh where is a nice place maybe here oh yeah nice and colorful this organizer can room a lot of stuff oh beautiful now let's bring in the other house so we can see them together and then put in all my drawing material there can you see everything now wow isn't this gorgeous i just love it i i want to move in i want to be a pencil now oh <laughs> look at that we got the memo pads the markers uh, the highlighters uh, pencils all kinds of different stationery and of course the secret diaries behind the secret uh, walls now let's close them up and see how the two facades look together now remember this we have the lock here all it goes there and then we turn it around same thing with this one lock it up and turn it around and notice the beautiful stripes on the sides and the beautifully decorated backs these pencil houses looks great from all sides now notice that this one is more smooth and shiny than the other that's because i put a layer of lacquer but you don't have to put that on if you don't want to it's up to you if you want a shiny look or a matte look like this okay folks no more excuses get serious get serious about your art materials make the pencil houses and get organized